Good evening. You're watching GB News. It's tonight live. I'm Nana Aquir. Now, it's my favourite part of the show where we like to uh, champion some underrepresented music and talent, and we have live music. Uh, so, this week it comes from Ben Drake. Ben performed uh, this fabulous song. He's got his uh, Ben Drake Collective in 2012, and since then, his latest album reached the charts and has gone from success to success. We're delighted to say that John, uh, Ben, John, Sorry about that, I've changed your name. Ben joins me in the studio now to chat all about his music career. So I felt like changing your name just because, why not? Why not? Um, he's going to also perform for us too. So welcome, Ben, it's really good to have you in. Nice to meet you, face to face. Yes, finally, yes, finally. We did the I... interview on the radio, but yeah. I've seen your, I've heard your music, I've interviewed you once before. I just thought your story was quite incredible. Mm. Um, but people may not know about the journey that brought you to this track, so talk yeah. to me, tell me about it. Um, so I lost my dad last year to a disease called IPF, um, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. And so I wrote the song really as, f for me really, just as a therapeutic thing to, to sort of deal with his, his passing. And since then I've become an ambassador for the trust through uh, Peter, who I know you know, Peter Bryce. And so now I wrote the song for them and we, we released it through the trust. So all the proceeds go to the charity. I see. So talk to, talk, talk to us a bit more about um, this um, IPF. Mm. What exactly is it? It's a lung disease. So it's a scarring of the lungs. And um, idiopathic means there's no known cause for that. And um, it's got a life expectancy of uh, three to five years. And dad passed within three years of being diagnosed. So it's quite a shock. How old was he? 67. That's quite young, isn't it? Yeah, very young. He was quite a fit 67-year-old as well, so... And, and does he... Do we know... You said that we sort of kind of don't know how how he got it. No. I mean, pulmonary fibrosis, they can maybe find out the cure... Uh, the cure, the, uh, the reason why. Mm. But with idiopathic, it's like... They, they just don't know why. It's just a random thing that happened. Could be many causes, so it's... Uh, you never knew. And, and as far as I understand the disease itself, it's one where your lungs fill with... It stops the oxygen being um, passed to the bloodstream, so you, you basically you suffocate in the end. So it's not a, not a nice disease to have and there's no cure for it, so we're just trying to raise research and raise awareness of the, the disease and try and get some, a cure for it, you know, one day, hopefully. Mm, I, I mean, I'm not going to go into COVID and things like that, but, of course... That's a that can, can I think that's something that can happen with COVID as well. I think yeah, something yeah. where your lungs uh, become unable to give you the oxygen that you need, and then in Absolutely, the end, yeah, they're looking in, into a link between it, you know, because um, with the long COVID or whether that would cause IPF or they just don't know. It's more research needed. More research needed. And you said that you, you're doing this song, and the money goes to the trust. Yeah, the tell me a bit more about this trust. So the pulmonary fibrosis trust. Um, help people suffering with the disease and, and also their carers because it affects everyone who's, who's uh, involved. And so they provide uh, care, they provide stair lifts, um, holidays, you know, to give them a break, things like that. And they just, since the COVID situation, they've had their funds slashed. Um, and so we're just trying to get funds back and just help them any way they can to, to find a cure for this disease and, and help people suffering. Is it, a, is it quite a common disease? Because, I mean, I... I don't hear much about it. Yeah, I don't think it is that common, which is kind of the problem. Not many people know about it, um, and that's why there's not much research done into it. Mm. So I understand. I've become an ambassador for the Trust, but only recently, obviously, since Dad passed, so I'm still learning a lot about it myself. But... And, and your father, what, what kind of a, a man was he? A big... <laughs> he was six foot four, a builder. He was just so protective of us, and... I just remember in his last sort of year, I was pushing him around in a wheelchair, and even though I should have been protecting him, I still felt that comfort from him because he was such a big presence. And since he's gone, it's um, you've lost that comfort blanket. So it's so quite saying, hard to take. Yeah, I, I, I could imagine. Yes, I'm sorry, so sorry to hear about your loss, Thank but you. you are putting your experience and what's happened to you to good use, and you yeah. are making a difference, I'm sure, to many, many people. Yeah. This, your, your music, then, you, uh, presumably you've been a musician for some time. Yeah, 20 years. 20 years? You don't look old <laughs> maybe, enough. Maybe, maybe more. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been uh, in bands and stuff now. I went solo 2012, and um, we've released six albums through The Collective, which is the Ben Drake Collective. Um, so, yeah, I've been doing that a long time. But this is my first charity song, so... What kind of success have you had as a band? Um, 
Oh, like we're always on the brink of sort of um, getting somewhere where we think, oh, we could be making it. So we've we've had local success. We've had songs in the charts, in Reverb Nation charts, and things like that, but never quite pushed that next level situation. Mm. And the pandemic, how has that been for you? Because it has been very challenging for a lot of musicians. Yeah, um, for me, it's been live streaming, which I've, I've never used to do, and so I've had to because we can't play live. So it's getting used to the technology of. of playing on your phone, basically, in your bedroom. <laughs> mm. um, I got quite used to that at the end, but it was nerve-wracking at first, more so than a gig, I think, because you, you don't know who's watching. Like, at a gig, you can see the people, but when you're doing that on your phone, you can't see. It could be one person, it could be a million. It could be a million. Maybe. Million, a million, <laughs> million people viewing you, listening to your music. Well, you never know. It could become a huge, huge success. It's already... The, the track you're, you're going to be performing for us has been, has been received well, hasn't it? Yeah, this has done really well, actually, um, because... We've got some celebrities involved behind it. So um, Janice Long, whose brother Keith Chegwin died of the same disease Dad had, she's tweeted about it. Casey Price, her mum, actually has the disease. Yeah. So she got involved and mentioned it in the, in the paper. Um, Claire Sturgis from Absolute Radio, she um, has tweeted about it. So we've got people behind it, which has been amazing, really, to get that push. And what, what, what are you hoping to uh, achieve with the song? Um, is there a target in your mind that you'd like to raise um, for the Trust? I mean, it's done very well on awareness. Um, for raising funds, it's very difficult with music because there's not a lot of money in it now. So when people stream it on Spotify, they get 0.1 of a P, you know, maybe less than that. iTunes is 79p, the Trust gets. So the more people that can download the song, the more money the Trust get. Mm, yeah, that, that works out quite well, doesn't mm. it? Hopefully they'll... Uh, love the song um, and the song talk to us about the song what we, obviously it's about your father tell us a little bit more before we get to hear it um, it's just about how I was feeling once you passed and um, you know about that dark cloud that's over you constantly and um, how basically how I was dealing with it and how I missed him and... I can't wait to hear it you know <laughs> have you ever written a song Emily I have yeah really it was called Party in the House. Oh, God! <laughs> Perhaps <laughs> That's a little different to the God. one that we're going to hear from you. Yeah, it might be, this might be slightly sadder than that one. Yes, this was a... Uh, this was, yes, getting the party started. Can you give us a burst of it? I mean, it's an original <laughs> track, so I'm sure we won't be having to worry about PRS. <laughs> I mean, would you seriously like me to? Go on. OK, so I'll sing the lyrics. There's a party in the house, come and join the party. We're gonna sing our hearts out and dance the night away. So this was written when I was about 12. This sounds, <laughs> sounds promising. <laughs> Where's the party again? Uh, this in is why you're a musician and <laughs> I am not. <laughs> this, this is in the house, somewhere in the house. This is quite a good house. That Steve, have you, you, have you written a song or...? You... Um, actually, oh, <laughs> never, never the music side of it. I've done lyrics, like writing comedy lyrics for people, um, which, I mean, often it's just taking a song that's well-known and finding the rude words that rhyme with the actual song, you know, the parody song. But I've never done anything that is creating. I've never created anything as beautiful as a song about a party in a house. <laughs> mm. Sounds amazing. I've is it in the, in the house? Yeah, well, it's vintage now, isn't it? <laughs> I've written a couple of songs. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I've written one at school. Brothers and sisters, join your hands. Come and spread your peace around the land, black and white, all around the world. Come and everybody is singing right now. Oh, it's not bad. Very good. And the chorus, the chorus goes, everyone around, sing and dance vocally. Why not every day? Not just when you pray. Bum, 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 bum. OK, OK, that's not... <laughs> we didn't join in when we meant to. That's yeah. not so good. I'm just delighted I wasn't the only one who uh, did that. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as good as party in the house, really. <laughs> we'll have to write these. And the second song I wrote was after a, a very terrible relationship. Oh. It was a guy I went out with. Jamaican guy, it all went very, very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's an so angry song. <laughs> no, 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 angry Not like a sad song. It's, it's sort of, you know, because he was somebody who lived in another country and, you know, and uh, it was, like, well, I was basically tricked on one of those dating apps. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was somebody who I was dating who lived in another <clears> country and it was very, I mean, when I listen to it now, I think, what on earth were you doing, woman? I'm sure it's nothing like your song, Ben, at all. <laughs> Oh, there's pressure now, which is the first one. <laughs> Not so much, because you've heard her song, you've heard it, <laughs> and I think you'll be fine. How long did it take you to write your song? Uh, this one came very quickly, yeah. It was, um, I've had, 
in all the songs we've written, the, the, you sort of work on a song for a couple of weeks sometimes, some within months. This one was within an hour, you know, it sort of, it just flowed out. I think I needed to write it yeah. at the time. And I presume when you sing it, you get all those emotions again. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of a sad song, but it's not super sad. You shouldn't make you cry. It's, it, <laughs> we might all be crying. Right. Some, some people have said it's uplifting, so. Oh, we love a bit of that. Right, well, you've got about... Are you ready? I think so. Float's a bit dry. Is it a bit... We'll, we'll get you some water. We'll get him... <laughs> somebody, can somebody get Ben some water whilst we just chat amongst ourselves, whilst he gets himself ready for his performance? I'm looking forward to that as well. And don't forget, you can still get in touch with us, by the way, if you want to have a chat with us. Um, we've got a couple of minutes left on the show at GB News or uh, send us an email at GBviews at GB News. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this and all the other topics. Uh, we will, and, and I'm in my brain, you know I'm coming back to that whole vaccination topic. I haven't forgotten. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the challenge. <laughs> right. Well, panel, is everybody ready? Ben, are you OK? Yeah, I'm ready. Or, I'm ready. Or, or, my voice yeah. might crack, but I'm OK. OK. Um, so talk to us before. You, you're the one who could intro the song. I know you've talked about the pandemic. Just yes. very briefly before you start your track, in terms of where you see yourself after this pandemic, have you got much coming up? Yeah, I'm gigging tomorrow, actually. Oh, enough. really? Yeah, so it's starting to open up. So, I mean, for me, acoustically, it's a bit easier, just me and a guitar, but um, it's starting to get to the stage where I can get the band back together and we can start doing full gigs. Mm. So it looks like it's promising, so... How big is the, 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 the band? Who else is in the band? And where's uh, the, the it's, oboe woman? It's you... different on each album, so um, we've had quite a few members involved over the years because uh, it keeps changing every album. We get people coming in and out. Mm. Um, so at the minute it's about six or seven people, but we've had sort of ten or twelve people in the band: saxophone mm. players, cello mm. players, violin. Mm. Yeah. So it's been. So you've got lots of things. So the collective is a, a load of people. Yeah, I mean it's basically. Change, but you're the, the sort of thing that stays the same. Yeah, I'm a, it's a solo um, solo project. Mm. But because I get the band in around me, I thought it needs to have a bigger name than just Ben Drake. Mm. And the collective was perfect because it's a collective of musicians all around. The, uh, I mean, we've had. Andy um, Dunlop from Travis actually played for us. Oh, really? Yeah, so if it's all over the country. We've had people come in and... Play for put, you. ..put their talent on it. Well, listen, if you are a musician as well, we, we do like to champion, um, you know, talent. So, as ever, you can always get in touch and uh, maybe we'll get you on the show. I'm sure your music is fabulous and we'd love to hear it. Uh, so, find, get in touch with us, GBviews at GB News, or why not find us on Facebook... Uh, and uh, search for GB News. Right. So, Ben, are you ready? I think so. OK, so we need you to intro your song and then take it away. OK, this is a song called There. Uh, this is on iTunes now. If you search Ben Drake Collective, There. And if you can download the song, 79p, all the proceeds go to the Pulmonary Fibrosis Trust to help people suffering with the, the same condition Dad sadly died from.
mind that's there all of the time since you Thank you. It nearly went. It nearly went. <laughs> oh. Thank you. So, the, so on the single, it's the full band. So it's like cello, violin. It's um, it's quite an orchestral sound. But the cello woman, she said she couldn't do it tonight. She's away on holiday for a couple of weeks. So it's like she's actually gone somewhere. Yeah. Crikey. Yeah. It's all right for some. She'll have to do the <laughs> qu quarantine or whatever they're doing when she comes back. And yeah, that, yeah. And the PCR tests and everything. I can get a violin player down. Well, next time, <laughs> bring a, well, you should have got the violin. You never mentioned the violin. Well, it's all oh, different ones. Saxophone, whatever you want. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> there were choice of options. They didn't know you were very good. That's wonderful. I love that. It's really good. Listen, Ben, if Thank people, you. again, just remind us where people can go if they want to um, help the trust, every, every penny yeah. goes to the Pulmonary Fibrosis yeah. Trust. So, so the Pulmonary Fibrosis Trust website is uh, pulmonaryfibrosistrust.org. Um, if not, you can go to my website, which is www.bendrakemusic.com and then there'll be a link on there to the single and a link to the, the Trust website as well, which might be an easier one. Um, but yeah, we just, and if you can just spare 79p, because if you can stream on Spotify, it's great, but they don't get any money. But if you can download it from iTunes, mm. obviously the more people do that, the more money they get. Well, listen, Ben, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. For Thanks for having me down. We do love it. Did we give him a round of applause for his song? Another yeah. one. <laughs> Fabulous. Thank you so much. Ben Drake, the Ben Drake Collective. Listen, I've got to say a thank you to my superstar panel this evening, Stephen N. Allen and Emily Carver. They've been brilliant. Now, listen, we're back tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. But guess what? We're joined by Lucy Beresford, Luther Blissett, Harry Redknapp. I know. It's going to be incredible and a whole lot more. Listen, you've been fun. Thank you so much for your company. I look forward to seeing you to to tomorrow at 9 o'clock for tonight live. I've been Nana Aquir. Good night. God bless.